haunted house curse unveiled. In the quiet, quaint town of Hempstead, locals whispered of the cursed house on Willow Street, an ancient, decrepit mansion abandoned for decades. As a new resident, I was warned to stay away, but the lure of the unknown was irresistible. The first time I stepped foot inside, I was met with an eerie calmness, a house frozen in time. The air was thick with dust and a stench of decay, yet beneath it all was a fragrant scent of roses, strange for a house devoid of life. The strangest part was the room upstairs, pristine and untouched by time, where a single portrait of a beautiful woman hung. Her eyes seemed to follow me, filled with an inexplicable sadness. Over the next few days, I found myself inexplicably drawn to the house, the woman in the portrait. I started hearing whispers, a woman's voice, soft and melancholic. It was like she was calling out to me, guiding me. It wasn't until the fifth day when I found the diary hidden behind the portrait. It belonged to a woman named Lillian, who apparently lived during the 1800s. Her entries were filled with tales of love and loss, but the last one was different. It spoke of a pact with a dark entity, a trade for eternal life, but not as a blessing, as a curse. The diary ended with a chilling line, forever trapped within these walls, looking for another to carry my burdens. That night, I dreamt of Lillian, trapped in the house, her eyes mirroring the sadness I saw in the portrait. When I awoke, I found myself standing in a room, the portrait staring down at me. But something was different. The woman in the portrait was no longer Lillian. I looked into the mirror hanging opposite to the portrait, and I froze. The woman in the mirror, the woman in the portrait, was me. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks, I was the new bearer of Lillian's curse, doomed to be forever trapped within the walls of the house on Willow Street, my only hope of freedom being to pass on the curse to another unsuspecting soul.